Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. Your love always never go unnoticed on this platform. It's truly an honor to have you here. I truly hope you all are evolving here just as much as I am, Soul Tribe. Gang, gang. All right. And welcome to the ones that are new here, Rams. It also is a pleasure to have you. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and welcome back to my returning beautiful souls. Thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you, Rams, all right? Today, we're going to focus the reading on the person here today that is on your mind, Aries. We want to see how they feel towards you. What are some things that they may want to say to you at this moment, all right? And most importantly, what messages do your spirit team have for you regarding the person here that is on your mind. We're going to see what's going on in your love life. All right. What's coming towards you for love. All of that good stuff. Okay. So be sure to smash that like button Aries as you all come in. And definitely if you are new here. Adjust your notification bell for when I do go live on this platform. Yes, I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check-in, I just about go live every day. And I also go live for questions as well. If you have a love question that you would love to ask, be sure to set your bell so you don't miss out on any new content that I post on this channel. All right, so no further ado, Rams. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see about this person here today that is on your mind, all right? Guardian angels, ancestors, what do we have for Rams? What do we have for Aries placements here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north and south node. Let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance. What do we have for Aries for love and romance? What do Aries need to know when it comes to their love life? Let's see what's coming towards you, Rams, for love and romance. One more shuffle, please. All right, let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance here. What do we have for Aries? What's going on in Aries' love life here? What do we have for Aries when it comes to love? All right, Aries, nothing want to come out? What's going on? All right, make sure I have the cards in the upright. We got the strength card to your Leo energy here, Aries. Some of y'all, this person may be a Leo that you are exchanging energies here with, or you may have Leo placements in your chart as a rising of Venus, a north node, a south, or your moon sign. However, here, Aries, there is a situation or circumstance that I see that it took you the strength and the courage to overcome whatever may have been an obstacle or a challenge here for you lately. I see you have now overcome that obstacle. So good job. Kudos to you. Congratulations. Okay. You're definitely going towards a better and positive environment and a great off of a journey to yourselves. Okay. So good job. I know this was something that wasn't easy here. Some of y'all are going through a breakthrough right now that you're being able to overcome here. Rather, if this was with a person, a place, or a thing here, okay? I do see you carrying the strength to move on here, okay? Wow. So, let's see exactly what this is pertaining to here. Let's see exactly what this here is pertaining to when it comes to the strength card. What is this all about? What's next for Aries and love? What do we have for the strength card here? How do we have the strength card here for Aries? How do we have the strength card? 
clarify the string card here, please. Yeah, look at that. The three of wands. You are manifesting here, Aries, and you're patiently waiting for those ships to dock. All right. You set in the intentions here. You're ready to move forward and you're looking forward to the opportunities that are coming your way that you may be submitted applications for, that you may be signed up for. Whatever intentions you put out in the universe, you're patiently waiting for those results to come in. All right. I love it. Some of y'all could be exchanging energy, excuse me, energies here with the fire sign. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, again here with the strength card, or an Aries like yourself. Okay. Let's clarify the three of wands here. There was some type of circumstance or situation or maybe a relationship here that you decide to remove yourself from and move forward here towards a new direction for yourselves. That's what I'm also picking up here. Aries. Clarify the three of wands. How do we have the three of wands here? Clarify the three of wands for Aries. Yep, you decide to turn your back towards the situation here. You rejected an offer here that came in not too long ago, Aries. This could have came from a Cancer for some of you all. This could have came from a Water Sign or Pisces or Scorpio or a Cancer here for some of you all. Whomever this person here is, I see that you rejected them here in the past, okay? This was someone that either you're just not ready to uh, go into another relationship with someone or the person that you rejected here is someone from your past that you're not too enlightened by here. And you chose to focus more on yourself here and what's coming towards you instead of rekindling a relationship or just being open to love right now is what I see here for some of you all. All right. Not all, but some. Okay. Let's clarify the four of cups here. I only have the Four of Cups here. And this person could also be an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. All right. This card indicates someone feeling left down the cold or someone that maybe was experiencing a financial instability. All right. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Some of you are this relationship that you were in caused you to be financially unstable or vice versa, this person here, okay? Turn by the Four of Cups, please. Why do we have the Four of Cups here? Yeah, someone wanted to reconcile. Again, this could have been a water sign here. Turn by the Four of Cups. Let's see, why did you reject this person here? Why did Aries reject this individual here? One card at a time, please. Why did Aries reject this person here? Yeah, look at that. The Five of Pentacles. As I mentioned, this person may have took you through, obviously, with the strength card, some financial unstability and burdens here in the past. You may have done everything to try to give this relationship the best, and this person took advantage of that. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Again, this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, and or a Virgo as well. Clarify the five of pentacles. What happened here with this connection going on here? Clarify the five of pentacles. Some of y'all, you know, just accepting this person's energy back into your space can kind of be for you a little awkward because you still may are trying to heal from this situation or still feel some type of way about this person's behavior patterns or the things that they've done here in the past. The King of Cups here, Scorpio energy here. Some of this person may be a Scorpio. This person here is someone that could have been an ex-spouse or someone that could have been who you were in a long-term commitment here with, with the King of Cups here. This could also be the mother or the father of your child here. Can I find the King of Cups, please? Why do we have the King of Cups? I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see the full table layout. Turn by the King of Cups. Wow, the Two of Pentacles. So all in all, you feel like this person here, Aries, was choosing other 
things as priorities and not you, not the connection, not the relationship here. Some of y'all, you feel like this person juggled you with someone else here or put you in a situation that you was not aware of or didn't ask to be in. This could have been a third party situation here as well. Wow, Aries, if the reading here so far is resonating with you, if it's giving you confirmation and clarity, don't forget again to smash that like button. If you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, my email details is down below in the description box. All right. Turn by the Two of Pentacles. Why do we have the Two of Pentacles here? Wow, the Seven of Swords. So the Two of Pentacles is being clarified by the Seven of Swords. This is someone that definitely done some things that you did not agree to or was not aware of here. They were not being honest with you with the Seven of Swords that indicates that someone is lying and not telling the truth about a situation or doing things behind your back, stabbing you in your back, behind your back, doing things that are not likely in a relationship here to be done, you know? So this is why it makes sense of why you have decided to reject this person's offer here because you can't trust this person after juggling you in a situation or a circumstance and or putting you last, not prioritizing their responsibilities in the relationship here as well. Wow. So let's see what this person here wants to say on behalf of the reading here today, on behalf of what has happened and transpired between you two. Let's see what this person here again wants to say. Okay. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box. If you kind of want to see what is the potential outcome for you two. All right. I would love to exist and move farther in the reading here for you today. Let's see what are some things that this person wants to say. What is on their mind? What do they want to say to Aries? Oh, wow. Thank you. We got fuck that. I'm fighting for you. Okay. Wow. So this person here wants you to know that they're not going to give up quite so easy here. Um, this is someone here that obviously wants to try to make this relationship or commitment here work with you. Um, this is definitely someone that's not going to take no for an answer here. Wow. Let's see what else. How else? What else this person wants to say? Wow. Aries. I want you bad. Well, we can kind of see that. We could kind of tell that this person definitely wants you bad. Or that they definitely still desire to be with you, want to be with you. Even though they've done some things, I just don't understand for this energy to feel the way that they feel like head over heels for you. You know, I don't know what happened to transpire for this person to cause a deception. But I do see now that this person realizing that you're no longer around, you know, they now see and realize a good thing that they had. But they chose to avoid a good thing that they had here. Okay, and that's usually how that happened. You don't never notice something good until it's gone. Okay. And I feel like this is how this person feels right now here, Aries. Wow. Let's see what else. Let's get one more card here. How else does this person feel towards Aries? Wow. We got, I'm ghosting everybody for you. Wow. So if this was an issue here again, because we got everybody. So again, as I mentioned, this could have been someone, as I mentioned in a reading, that always chose to prioritize other people instead of prioritizing the relationship and the commitment that they had with you. They chose other people over you first instead of choosing you in the connection here before going out to hang out with friends or before going out to make plans to do things with um you know, whatever that may be, this person puts you to the very end of things instead of prioritizing you first and choosing other people, places, situations, and circumstances over the connection here with you. Wow, Aries, I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Again, definitely if the reading today for feels and resonates for you, smash that like button, loves. That'd be very much appreciated. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, 
My email details is down below in the description box. Be sure to like, subscribe if you're new here and set your notification bells again for when I do go live on this platform just about every day. And thank you all so much. If you would love to extend your stay and join the Patreon or the OnlyFans link, that link is also down below on the homepage as well. All right. I wish you and this person here, Aries, the best, my loves. Bye-bye.